What caused Venus to become hell, and why did Earth survive? Have you ever heard the phrase same person, different font? That is the case we are discussing in this video. Why is Venus the hottest planet in the solar system, however it is not the closest to the Sun? You may have heard that Venus is sometimes referred to as Earth's sister planet, but did you know that it has temperatures hot enough to melt lead and crushing atmospheric pressure that can squash you flat? Then it's safer to assume Venus is Earth's evil twin. So what caused Venus to become an inferno while Earth stays a habitable oasis? Join me as we delve into the science of the two worlds and find the circumstances that resulted in their wildly disparate fates. From the influence of greenhouse gases to the consequences of volcanic activity, we'll look at the various variables that make Venus a hostile environment and Earth a welcoming home. What transformed Venus into hell? Venus is commonly referred to be Earth's sister planet because of its size, mass, and composition. The similarities, however, end there. While Earth is a habitable planet, Venus is a dead, hellish environment with temperatures hot enough to melt lead and a poisonous and dense atmosphere. Venus's distance from the Sun, atmosphere, and unique geological history are all elements that have contributed to its inhospitable climate. The proximity of Venus to the Sun is one of the key reasons it is so hot and unfriendly. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is closer to it than Earth is. As a result, Venus receives significantly more solar energy than Earth. This strong radiation raises the temperature of the globe, culminating in a runaway greenhouse effect. Before delving into the greenhouse effect, consider this, Venus's slow and retrograde rotation is an unusual trait that may have contributed to its harsh atmospheric conditions. Venus rotates once every 243 Earth days, which is longer than its year, hence a day on Venus lasts longer than a year. Furthermore, Venus's rotation is retrograde, which means it rotates in the opposite direction as the majority of the planets in our solar system, including Earth. One idea suggests that Venus's sluggish and retrograde rotation was produced by a huge impact during the planet's early history. This collision could have been powerful enough to halt Venus's revolution and then reverse it, causing the planet to spin in the other way. However, this notion is still being debated in the scientific community, and further study is needed to validate it. In contrast, the rotational speed of the Earth is significantly quicker, and it rotates in the same direction as it orbits the Sun. This is due to the early collision of a massive object, most likely a Mars-sized object. This impact is supposed to have caused a massive amount of material to be sent into orbit around the Earth, later coalescing to form the Moon. The gravitational interactions between the Earth and the Moon have served to stabilize the Earth's rotational axis, avoiding substantial changes in its axial tilt and allowing for long-term climate stability. The greenhouse effect happens when gases in the atmosphere of a planet capture heat from the Sun, causing the planet's temperature to rise. The thick atmosphere of Venus, which is largely composed of carbon dioxide, absorbs heat and prevents it from escaping back into space. This causes a feedback loop in which the planet's temperature continues to rise, intensifying the greenhouse effect. Venus's atmosphere is another feature that has made it a hostile environment. Venus's atmosphere is approximately 100 times denser than Earth's, and it is mostly composed of carbon dioxide. This means that the air pressure on Venus's surface is extremely high, making landing on the planet's surface problematic for any spacecraft. Venus's thick atmosphere also prevents heat from escaping back into space, which contributes to the planet's high surface temperature. Venus's heavy clouds also prevent most sunlight from reaching the planet's surface, resulting in a gloomy atmosphere with little or no sunshine. The geological history of Venus has also contributed to its metamorphosis into a hellish world. Venus has a very slow spin, which implies that a single day on the planet lasts longer than a year. 
This slow rotation, combined with the tremendous heat, has resulted in immense volcanic activity on the planet's surface. Sulfur dioxide, which adds to the greenhouse effect, is released into the atmosphere by volcanic activity on Venus. Volcanic activity on the planet has also resulted in the production of enormous plains of solidified lava, which span over 80% of the planet's surface. What caused Earth's survival? The ability of Earth to host life is due to a combination of elements that have allowed it to maintain a stable environment throughout billions of years. These features include its solar distance, atmosphere, gradual geological history, and the stabilizing effects of its huge moon. The Earth's distance from the Sun is one of the key variables that has contributed to its ability to host life. The Earth lies in the Goldilocks zone of our solar system, which is the range of distances from the Sun that are just suitable for the planet to support liquid water, a necessary component of life as we know it. If Earth were closer to the Sun, like Venus is, it would be too hot for liquid water to exist on its surface, and if it were further away, as Mars is, it would be too cold. The atmosphere of Earth has also played an important role in its ability to support life. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of many gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other trace gases. This mixture of gases has allowed the planet's temperature to be regulated while also providing the required elements for life. The Earth's atmosphere also has an ozone layer that serves to deflect harmful UV light from the sun. High quantities of UV radiation can cause DNA damage and other detrimental effects, making this protection critical for life on the planet's surface. The progressive geological history of the Earth has also contributed to its potential to host life. Unlike Venus, where immense volcanic activity has occurred, Earth's geological history has been largely steady and progressive over time. This has allowed the planet's atmosphere to gradually evolve rather than undergo abrupt alterations. Furthermore, plate tectonics, which is missing on Venus, has contributed to Earth's ability to host life. Plate tectonics refers to the separation of the Earth's lithosphere, which is the rigid outermost shell that contains the crust and highest section of the mantle into separate parts known as plates. These plates move slowly across the Earth's surface, clashing and tearing apart in some places. These plates' movement is critical in the development of mountain ranges, the recycling of nutrients, and the discharge of gases from the Earth's mantle. Furthermore, plate movement helps to remove heat from the Earth's mantle, which can help to minimize the pressure building that leads to massive volcanic eruptions. Venus, on the other hand, lacks plate tectonics. Its crust is substantially thicker than Earth's, preventing the lithosphere from moving. As a result, heat and pressure from the mantle are not released as efficiently, potentially leading to disastrous volcanic eruptions. The Big Moon is another crucial feature that has contributed to Earth's ability to maintain life. The Moon's gravitational pull aids in the stabilization of Earth's rotation, which aids in the stabilization of the planet's climate. Furthermore, the Moon's gravitational pull produces tides, which have aided in the evolution of life on Earth by providing a varied range of habitats for marine species. Consequences of Climate Change and Lessons to Learn from Venus Climate change is projected to have a wide range of global and local repercussions. Some of the most serious outcomes are as follows. Sea levels are rising. As temperatures rise, glaciers and polar ice caps melt, causing sea levels to rise. This can result in coastal floods, erosion, and land loss. Natural disasters are becoming more common and intense. Climate change has the potential to increase the frequency and severity of natural catastrophes such as hurricanes, tornadoes, wildfires, and floods. Precipitation patterns are changing. Climate change has the potential to modify rainfall patterns, resulting in greater droughts in some areas and more floods in others. This has the potential to have an impact on agriculture and water supplies. Biodiversity loss. Climate change can cause species extinction by disrupting ecosystems and making temperatures inappropriate for certain plants and animals. 
Effects on health. Climate change can harm human health by increasing exposure to air pollution, spreading disease-carrying insects, and causing heat-related disorders. The lessons from Venus are that the greenhouse effect can have serious effects for a planet's climate and that we must take measures to avoid similar outcomes on Earth. We can help prevent the worst consequences of climate change and secure a more sustainable future for our world by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and moving to cleaner types of energy. In conclusion, while Venus and Earth are comparable in size and composition, their surroundings have been significantly different. Venus has become a hellish environment due to a variety of circumstances, including its close closeness to the sun, heavy carbon dioxide atmosphere, and unique geological history. Because of its distance from the sun, the mix of gases in the atmosphere, its progressive geological history, and the stabilizing effects of its huge moon, Earth has maintained a stable environment that is well suited for maintaining life. The study of Venus and Earth provides insights into the factors that lead to planet habitability. As we continue to explore our solar system and beyond, it will be critical to understand how these components interact to produce and sustain life, as well as how they may differ on other planets. Finally, we may be able to detect habitable settings elsewhere in the universe and better grasp the possibility for life beyond our own planet as a result of this knowledge. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you in the next film, when we'll uncover even more intriguing facts about our universe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to remain up to date on our latest videos and most fascinating topics. Let us know what you think about these reasons in the comments, and if you have any more ideas, please share them with us.